One of the highlight of my year is in September, where I, when I get to take a group of like-minded people who are interested in travel and photography to Vietnam. important thing to know about this trip that it is not just a photo tour, it's a journey where you will meet and get to know interesting, beautiful people, eat local food, which is by the way amazing, experience different culture and just have fun with good people. Most importantly, it's all about fun. And on top of that, you will then create amazing photos. And to, to make sure, you will have two professional photographers that will help you to achieve just that. We will take you to the best places at the best possible light and teach you how to understand light. Because it is extremely important and we do know light. A common question I get quite a bit uh, with people who are interested in this tour is, I, I'm not a photographer. Uh, am I? Uh, am I too? Am I too much of a beginner for this trip? Um, no. If if you have a camera and a desire to make great photos, we will teach you how to do that. And uh, even even if you're a seasoned photographer and you know the basics, or or even beyond that. There is always something you can pick up from us. And also, if not, just take advantage of the amazing locations and, uh, and uh, our expertise in that matter. Because uh, it, is, it can be quite difficult to do a tour as extensive as this one on your own. I would argue that it is almost impossible to do some of the things we do without a local expert. And my local expert, I don't think you can get any better than that. These are small groups, so you will get a lot of attention and help. Everything basically you will ever need, both in form of teaching uh, in editing and lectures, and also just majority of the help will, will be on the field, where we set things up, teach you how to shoot it, and uh, then of course, just normal street photography. This is a very spouse-friendly tour, meaning if you take your significant other with you, he or she will not be bored because there is so much to see and so much to do. For me, it is kind of hard to pick a favorite place to shoot and uh, because every place has his own thing. Every place is unique with this distinguished culture, people and landscape. But as a travel photographer, Southeast Asia is by far my favorite and Vietnam is one of the best locations there. This is not exactly a landscape photography tour, although we do some landscape. It's a travel photography tour, which means we basically shoot everything. You know, models, uh, street life, architecture, landscape. We just shoot everything we see and find interesting. My local guy, Nguyen Won Puk, is perhaps the best all-around photo photographer uh, in Vietnam. It took me a while to find the right guy to work with her, but I was extremely lucky with him. 
His photography is amazing. He's well connected with superb understanding of light and the people of Vietnam. With people, he is a magician. Commonly, when we are walking somewhere, he manages to spot something amazing. He approaches the people and uh, gets them to agree of being photographed. I don't think I don't think I have ever seen anybody say no to him. And this kind of interaction with people is just priceless and it has helped me to get amazing shots. Yes, of course, you can up to a point do this yourself. But keep in mind in keep in mind that English is not that commonly spoken in Vietnam, especially in rural areas. So uh, it can be difficult to achieve what he can achieve. In this tour, we try to go off the grid as we can. We skip the busiest tourist spots, for example, Halong Bay, uh, because the alternative are just as good and not as crowded with tourists. With the exception of we do visit Hoi An. It's a very busy place. Uh, there's a lot of tourists there in, in Hoi An, the town itself. But it's just one of those places that you can't really skip. It's just a magical place and even the town itself is busy. We do go visit locals in the outskirts of town. There's no tourists there, just at, just at the town. But it's, a, it's just, yeah, it's, a, it's, an, it's an amazing town. You will like it. Hi everyone, my name is Kim Phương. My name is Nguyen. My name is Jung. Um, so today I would like to introduce for you uh, about my traditional custom. Uh, you see, this is my traditional custom. It's ảo dài and this is nón lá. Uh, ảo dài and nón lá is very special and uh, this is my traditional custom. Then, uh, you know, when we go out or uh, go to school, uh, party or wedding, we reward it because um, we feel confident and uh, uh, polite when we go out. Uh, I hope one day you can uh, go to Huế and uh, you can enjoy too many plays and uh, can see too many uh, yeah, with too many color and uh, too many uh, beautiful girls. Thank you so much. This 15-day tour, it's, it starts in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. It's located in the north. First, we will head more north to the border of China and then we will move all the way through, through central Vietnam, all the way south to Mekong Delta. And then the journey ends in Saigon, or Ho Chi Minh City as it's called now. For a detailed itinerary, check out this website. This is a packed tour. We wake up early and we shoot until past sunset. It's not a relaxing vacation, it's challenging, and it's fun. It's not uncommon people tell me that our tours are the best experience they ever had. At least that's what we aim for. Why do this tour rather than doing this on your own? I am a seasoned traveler and I'm very able to take care of myself and approach people, but to be able to do a tour like this on my own it would just take me too long. It would take, take me a long time. It would cost me a lot of money. Uh, with no connection in Vietnam, I would not be able to communicate with the people properly. And I would, I would just miss out a lot. Travel time would double. And just simple things like finding something to eat, you know, in the more rural places especially can just be a challenge. Also, you will have two expert photographers to teach you and make sure you get the frame. For everything, hotels, all ground travel, domestic flights, expert photographers, two of them, a guide, drivers, water in the bus, you pay 
a total of $430 a day. It's not a lot of money for all that. The date for this trip will be August 27 till September 10th of 2020. And the price per seat is $6,450. That comes down to uh, about $430 a day per double occupancy. If you want a private room, single room supplement is $900 extra. If you book before March 1st, you will get a good discount. Just contact us for more details. So the duration is 15 days, 14 nights. Maximum number of photographers in a group is 10. Its difficulty level is easy. You don't need to be in, in shape to, uh, to be able to enjoy this tour. There's not a lot of hiking, no hiking involved. It's suitable for all level of photographers. Beginners, intermediate, advanced, there's, there's space for everybody here. And spouses, if somebody wants to join you. I've been fortunate enough uh, in my life to be able to travel, meet people, and uh, experience different culture. In some countries, uh, like Vietnam, we, we have people that are less fortunate, let's call them that, just because of where they were born. And I would then consider myself more fortunate because I was born in Iceland. Is that it has nothing to do with my character or my hard work. It was just luck. These people, we, we sometimes say here in the West, you know, work hard and you will uh, achieve more, you will get ahead. Uh, in these places, you just have to work hard to eat. If you don't work, you don't eat. So, what about those people who just can't work? Are sick, they have some disabilities, or for whatever reason, they can't provide for themselves. What happens to those people in those countries? There is no safety net, there is no government aid, there is really nothing. What they have to do, they have to rely on a family if they have, and a private enterprise. On my travels, I met some of the most generous and kindest people I have ever met people that are now called my friend. Like Nyan. Nyan is a young girl I hired in Vietnam to model at, at one time. She looks and sings like an angel. And all her time and the little money she had, she devotes to the people who can't take care of themselves. She opened a business called Lavin Home, where she teaches deaf people to make paper flowers. They make those flowers to sell, and with the money she earns selling those flowers, she pays them monthly wages, enabling them to earn a living and take care of themselves, bring them back into society. She also teaches sign language, and on weekends, she goes to meet people that for some reason cannot travel to her. Uh, people, especially with, uh, with uh, glass bone syndrome, it's basically uh, their bones break very easily, so they can't travel. They basically just stay in bed. This is not making her personally any money. She is not a rich uh, girl, woman. Quite the contrary, this is a difficult thing to run for a young a uh, girl that has really no experience of running a business or employing people. But even so, she has managed to do that since 2015. And we at Iceland and Root Photo Tours, we want to help. We want to leave something behind. So what we, what we are doing, we are donating $100 of every seat we sell to Lavin Home to help Nan run this amazing business. There's a link here in the corner. 
uh, if you want more information about that. So, so if you made it this far in the video, I'm assuming you are interested in what I'm talking about. And uh, if you need any more information about this trip, there is a link in the description um, where you can sign up if you want. And uh, also you can contact us uh, with email and uh, get more information, whatever you need, just ask. Hope to see you in September in Vietnam. Thank you for watching and goodbye.